how about that? 2021 20, and beyond, guys. Skier's gonna be my new home. Could not be more excited. Change is good, guys. I tell you what, I'm so impressed with this FXR series. The speed, the fishability of it, the durability of it, the absolute look. I mean, this thing reminds me of a Lamborghini, right? So excited about the Elite Tour this coming up season. So excited about fishing out of this thing. I've been kind of secretly fishing out of it for quite a while. Cannot be more excited about debuting this thing here real soon on the Bassmaster Elite Trail. This boat right here is the one that I'm going to be using for a lot of my filming. I have actually an FXR21 coming in as well. We're going to be rigging that one up for all of my tournaments. And so we're going to be doing a complete boat tour on my tournament rig. But this right here is my filming rig. This is the boat that I'm going to do a lot of YouTube stuff here down in Florida. Super excited about it. So for you guys, let's take a little tour inside this FXR. So this is where it all starts right here, right here at the console. I really love the, the, the seats in this boat. The seats are amazing. It's got a lot of good leg room under here. And these Skeeters, they have a like a raised deck here on the floor, so my foot is actually kind of braced in there. It's just a really comfortable setup. The dash is laid out well. On this particular boat here, I've got my Garmin 8612 here on the dash. Just a single unit here on this particular one. And then we've got, of course, all our instruments and all the different things here. But this boat right here has tilt steering. You can move that up and down has my levers here for my jack plates, my trim, all the different things. So it's a very well thought out. The FXR series, from talking to a lot of the people that have run Skeeter for many years, they say this is the best hull that they've ever built. So again, I'm super excited about what this next year is gonna bring. We're fishing everything from rivers to big giant water up in the Great Lakes. So this boat's gonna get it done. Padded front deck, lots of space for the ability to sight fish a little bit better. The, the Skeeters kind of sit up high in the water in the front. Gives me a little elevated platform, the sight fish. Yeah, you better watch out. The center box has plenty of room in here for all my lure lock boxes. Nicely well organized. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be a little more organized this year in this boat than I have in the past, but got plenty of room in here for all my tackle boxes. Lots of extra space in here. Uh, we're not gonna be needing the net, so I'm not real sure what I'm gonna do with that. The net's not gonna come in very handy unless I'm trying to retrieve a lure or something. Watch, I did that at the last tournament. I should be able to retrieve a lure from a tree that was hung up with the net. Can't net fish, but we can net lures. And uh, so anyways, nice compartment here, well lit, everything's great. Let me show you these little side boxes. The other thing I love about these boats is these little side boxes. They've got lots of, lots of little compartments in this boat for a little cubby hole stuff. And that's important for me because as I'm always changing baits, cutting things off, throwing them on the floor of the boat, I can throw them in these little side cubby holes. This little compartment here, and then this one right here, the same thing, little cubby hole, nice little place to put stuff, little catch all. Another storage box right here, plenty of room for my tackle boxes, extra rods, tripods. I mean, I have everything in here. And uh, again, lots of room, plenty of light so I can see good. Liking that a lot. So the last compartment up here on the front is the rod locker and uh, plenty of room. It's got a double step here. And that's what I love about the Skeeter, the whole Skeeter line, and I've looked at a lot of them lately, is all the little things that they put in these boats. They think of all these little creature comforts that fishermen want. You know, like the little extra cubby holes to put tackle and stay organized, because that's very important out there on the water. Staying organized on the water, in tournaments, filming, doing all the things that I do. I need to know where my stuff is and I need to know how to get to it quick. And this Skeeter, it's set up well. Live wells are super important to me. It's where I put all my bass. Plenty of room in these right here. It shares a live well, so if you have a pump go down, you're not gonna lose your fish, so you can split it up. I could put, uh, I'm thinking big ones on this side and my coal fish on the passenger side. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Drop a comment down below and let me know. And by the way, drop a comment down below and let me know what are the little things that I could add to this boat, you know? I mean, I'm sure that there's some other cool little things that I could do to this boat that people have done in the past. I'd love to hear your opinion. A little side compartment here, plenty of room for camera bags, of course, life vest, all the different things. And a nice little compartment over here, keep my extra tackle, keep all my Dugan bait and different things in there. Now, let's look in the back here. The back of this boat has plenty of room as well for the batteries, has this little tray right here, so you have the engine toter. Again, just lots of little places to put things and stay organized, and that's really, really important. Now, a couple things that we are going to do this boat. This boat is brand new. It came from the factory, so we're going to be replacing these batteries with lithium pros. We're going to be replacing the jack plate with the Bob's hydraulic jack plate and doing a few things. We're going to be putting the, the power pole charge, charging in here as well. Uh, we got to do some tricking out on this boat to kind of get it ready for filming and do all the things that we're going to do. 
But again, this compartment back here, having that much space to your pumps, having that much space to your pipes and your hosing, your breakers on this side, the perco switch and all that's over there. It's really, really laid out well. So if you're gonna get back here and work on some stuff, you got plenty of room. Now let's talk about the business on the back of this boat right here. This is the Yamaha SHO, the Show Nuff Powerhouse 250. This thing right here is unbelievable on fuel economy, lots of torque. And let me tell you something. Okay, there's something that I just noticed about these Yamahas that I cannot be more excited about. Living here in Florida, we have lots of grass. We have lots of hydrilla. And I'm able to go through this hydrilla and go through this grass without one single overheat. These Yamahas do not overheat, guys. They are fantastic in the shallow water and in the grass. Now, this is cool. They've got some really good styling, not only on the boat, but on the trailer. Love the fenders, love the step integrated right here, love the lights and the wheels and the tires, spot on. So guys, again, I'm super excited about what next year is gonna bring, not only fishing the Elite Trail, but also running the Skeeter FXR series for next year and beyond. So thank you so much for all the support. Thank you for Skeeter and Yamaha for supporting me. And guys, again, change is good. I'm excited about all the different changes that we're going to be having next year and beyond. We've got some big goals ahead of us. So thank you so much for all the support on the channel. And guys, we will see you later. Bam! Bam!